Hi all, in this video, let's learn how and why to use object immutability in JavaScript. So let's jump in. So before that, object mutability. What is meant by object mutability? So I have an object here. So he, to this object, I can add properties. I can delete properties. I can modify properties. I, ca I can do all the operations on this object. In since this object is mutable. So now we are talking about object immutability. In sense, an object should not be modified. So usually JavaScript is a uh, flexible language where you can redefine anything. So in this case, you can modify any of the objects anywhere. So as application grows in large amount. So at one point, uh, modifying an uh, important object at the top level uh, is, it will mess up everything. So we need to take care as application increases, we need to take care. Some of the objects should be, we need to make them as mutable. For a sample example, if we have an organization, so where we have an organization where the name of the organization and the logo, these objects should be kept as an immutable objects because in, uh, immutable objects in sense, no one uh, can uh, modify those objects. So because organization name and the logo, can, anyone can read, it should be in a read only mode. So uh, they, they should not be modified that objects. So similar to that, we need to keep all those objects where no one can have the access to modify them. So in that case, we can uh, make a, uh, everything uh, like uh, what is what should be modified, what should not be modified at the organization level, at the application level, we'll be keeping some standards. So uh, in that case, the object immutability helps us a lot. In different programming language, languages like in uh, Java, we'll be having a final keyword where if this final keyword is applied to the class, then that class can't be extended. If that is applied to a function, that can't be overridden. If that is applied to a variable that can't be changed that variable can't be changed in other programming languages like java we'll be having like final keyword but in javascript we have three different options like prevent extensions seal and freeze there will be three different options with different uh, result sets we can use them as per our requirement so majorly why why we wanted to make this object immutable in sense, no one need to modify that. So one of the reason I said any important information like a no, everyone can read only object immutability in sense, no one can modify that object, but they can have the access to read only. So if you in your whole application, if there is any need like this, you need to make the objects as immutable. So one of the example would be like, uh, uh, if, if you're going to write any library or a framework of your own using JavaScript, then the topmost object uh, application settings, all the application settings to bootstrap this library or framework, all these uh, libraries should be object immutable. You need to make those objects as immutable. If not, any of the developers can extend this and they can uh, do some modifications where your library won't work. So that's the reason you need to understand uh, those uh, app settings or organization level objects, you need to make them immutable. So fine. And also one more thing I just wanted to state is constant is something different from immutability. So if I define a constant here, it doesn't mean that I'm making this object as immutable. So just I'm binding this object to a reference where it should not change. That binding should not be changed. All the values or properties uh, can be changed even if you keep constant as well the binding reference variable can't be changed. Everything can, can be changed. So just wanted to make sure this constant is not equal to what we are doing, what we are learning now, object immutability. So fine, as we discussed, there are three different options, object prevent extension. So for an object, I need to do, do syntax like this, object is a JavaScript global object dot prevent extensions of car. So now I'm making this car not extendable, so prevent extendable. So I'm applying car to this function. So by default, any object, any object in JavaScript by default is extendable. So anyone can extend that. So for this, I will show you one thing like a object dot is extendable. So before uh, applying prevent extension is extensible and car, if I give like this, it will return true. Why? Because by default, any object in JavaScript is extendable. So I can extend that. So when you apply prevent extensions to that object, 
and now you check this it will return false in sense now no one can extend this car okay so that's the thing so now we'll check what all the properties we have in prevent extensions so if you use prevent extensions to any of the object you can't add a new property to that object so here we have a car and uh, to this car we only have three properties like max speed battery life and weight and we are trying to if we are trying to add a new property color it will it will not result any error it will just show undefined in the strict mode it will return an error so that if you use use strict at the top of your application then if you are trying to add any of the properties it will throw an error so in sense adding a new property is not allowed in the prevent extension apart from that you can modify the existing property you can redefine the configuration properties like uh, here in the car object i'm uh, modifying this uh, match speed properties configuration properties like this so you can modify the properties you can redefine the configuration properties you can delete the properties only the thing is you can't add a new property so if in your application you have a need like this so only new properties can't be added but but the rest of the things can be done so you can go with the prevent extension so coming to the next one so seal object or seal so here in the object or seal i'm uh, writing this object seal so where here you can't add you can't even add the properties also you can't even modify the existing uh, configuration properties you can't even delete the properties only thing you can do in the seal is you can modify the properties only thing we can do the modify the properties so you need to understand uh, before any of the use case try to use these methods object dot is sealed so any of the persons or uh, seal this object or not before modifying or extending these classes try to uh, do a um, boolean check here anyone seal this object or not if anyone seal this object it will return true based upon that you need to understand i can't modify this object i mean i can't add the properties i can just modify this properties with this check you can understand what all the functionalities you can do on this object hope you understand this so coming to the freeze part the last option of object immutability so object dot freeze in sense you can't do anything like you can't add a new ob new property you can't delete you can't uh, add the configuration properties you can't modify the existing properties so you can't do anything if an object is freezed so if your requirement is that and no one should modify anything you need to do this freeze and you can check with the is frozen uh, method whether any object is uh, freezed or not you can do that so finally uh, i have a ppt uh, the i mean uh, yep so you you can find this so here uh, in a simple table it was mentioned what prevent extensions seal and freeze can do you can add a property no for in all the three options you can't add a property you can modify yes for the first and second uh, seal and prevent extensions you can modify for this freeze everything you can't do anything all the options can't be done so you can delete yeah you can delete here for both the seal and freeze you can't and you can reconfigure the existing properties yes so based upon this table you can understand whether you are what is your requirement here and uh, based upon that you can make your object immutable according to these levels whether you want to uh, at the level of prevent extinction at the level of seal or at the level of freeze so you need to take that decision based upon your requirement hope you understand the video thanks for watching